that you've ever put in. Acme is a very young company. We are into uh, telecom energy management, defense, green cars, and uh, distributed clean energy, which is solar, uh, DCDGs, and uh, it's an energy, leading energy management company, primarily into telecom sector, and we are one of the largest passive infrastructure support to wireless telecommunications. Our products which uh, have been innovated over a period of time and year on year, uh, help in reducing greenhouse emissions and reduce the carbon footprint. Acme product, to give you some statistics, saves around 1,000 million kilowatt hour of power and 100, 100 million liters of diesel per annum, per of diesel. ACME's uh, market offerings represent a combination of uh, technology innovation, industry grade products, <coughs> and Our installed base covers one out of every two sites in India. We have got uh, a huge installed base. Creative low cost services model, the service, we have spread across the country and in Africa also. And we have reached to all, all the states, every corner of this country. We focus on energy reduction, as we talked about, and we lower through our products the life cycle costs. Energy is the single largest cost reduction of telecom sites. Grid power is largely unreliable, especially in remote areas. And we are uh, largely dependent on DG sets. And if we are able to save energy on account of these, that's going to be huge. And of course, as part of corporate social responsibility, we cannot afford to miss this point. ACME has grown through in the telecom industry over the last few years, seven to ten, seven, seven to eight years in the industry, where we have really grown to our innovative products. If you can use the mic properly. Okay. Majority of cell sites, if you see, are off-grid diesel-based stations due to current state of electrification. Then uh, we have the flagship product of PIU, Power Interface Unit, which manages the power at cell sites. Yeah, okay. And uh, we also operate quite a few of our towers to solar and which helps us in, uh, you know, uh, getting rid of about six to seven hours of energy through that. I'm going to talk about two most important products out of several products that we have in our product. One is the power interface unit, which is the power management at cell sites. And the other one is the green shelter. We devised total AC power interface solution aiming to minimize the use of DG set. And there we save a lot of energy through that. We ensure uninterrupted, low maintenance, and transient free operations. The PIU, which is, which is the product that we're talking about, integrates all the essential constituents of site in the rack at telecom site. And the, through the automation, Again, it points towards how efficiently we can run the sites. ACME developed this IGBT-based microcontroller technology. Normal site operation against uh, unreliable AC mains input. Minimizing the DG operations. Avoiding SMPS damage due to slow response of servo cell that stabilizes. This has been completely eliminated, eliminated through the uh, PIU that we devised, where the switching, because of the voltage variations, became so smooth that if it will take seconds to, you know, switch when the voltage stabilizer will be used, it's gone down to 10 micro uh, seconds. 
So it helps save a lot of uh, you know component failures also in the site, for example, SMPs. Then uh, because of that, there will be a lot of incorrect you know parameter measurements. So what we see, you know, and uh, the in all the cell sites which are there spread across, we are able to see each site at our global energy management center, which is the knock that we have created in our uh, facility in Gurgaon. The, some of the very important highlights of uh, the power interface unit is the fastest static line conditioner, first of its kind. If you look at the va voltage variation, 140 goes to 280. Now, this shows that you know it can also operate at low voltages where some of the other products will go off and the DG set will come in. You know, here it continues to operate. And it saves, you know, DG set from coming in and therefore saves energy. So air conditioner operation at low voltage, which is the other important energy consumption device you know, at, at site. It reduces generator running. And because it doesn't have any mechanical uh, parts in it, so the efficiency is high, as high as 98%. We have got a man-machine interface. So we are able to control and, and operate very easily with this PAT. Because all the parameters of the cell site are connected to this. And we can operate that through RMS, which is remote monitoring station. At our head office. Performance and history recording for better maintenance. We are able to predict what's going to happen. And then we can take proactive measures to correct that before it actually goes down. Built in battery and battery charger with manual bypass facility. Power line protection, if you see, it's 99% against multi strike of 100 kiloamps. Lightning and surge protection. High voltage, low voltage, automatic disconnection, and res restoration of high, low frequency are also part of the system. Mahesh, if you can explain this. Yeah. Um, overall, you know, when you when you talk about PIU, why PIU came in? Okay. Uh, before PIU, what was that in the system in the telecom industry? We were having sets, we were having batteries, we were having servo stabilizers, and we had AMF panels. Now, why this product became so popular, and uh, like uh, somebody mentioned, that every site in India, every one site or two sites, we have this system in place. Why? The biggest reason for that is uh, we removed two things from the site. Number one, the servo stabilizer, which was a very, very slow response and a very high, highly inefficient system in terms of uh, in converging, uh, converting electricity to the required uh, uh, parameters. And second thing, the second thing is the isolation transformer, which are also consuming a lot of energy. So if you look at it, the first one, we're talking about 12% reduction on energy straight away by putting this system in PIU in place. That means we removed the isolated isolation transformer as well as the servo stabilizer and we, we saved 12% straight to the industry. Now this 12% again, by conversion of, or inefficient conversion, we are producing a lot of heat, correct? Now if you, if you are producing heat, you have to take care of that. By by not producing that heat, we are basically saving that. So that is 12 plus 12, 24 percent is state, saved straight by replacing these two major components earlier, right? The third one is genset capacity. Earlier, because uh, let's say a typical, a typical site which is having a 3 kilowatt hour station, we used to have 3 kilowatt uh, BTS plus 3 kilowatt of air conditioner load. So what happens, you have, a, you have to have a genset which is about 6 kilowatt, correct? Now if you reduce this 25 percent state from your uh, uh, energy, uh, this thing, then you can basically look at a genset which is a lower capacity. Now when you make, when you mention a genset of a lower capacity, what, what, you, what we save again is the fuel consumption per hour on that. Let's say we are running 7.5 kVA earlier, right? And then when we, when we know that we don't have to run 7.5, we have to run our 6 kVA, we can actually save uh, energy on the fuel also. So that's the, sec that's the third one. Fourth one, uh, sorry, fifth one is genset was uh, genset running was reduced due to smart power supply. Now, what does what do we mean by this? Okay, uh, this PIU is an intelligent device, 
Uh, it is an intelligent device which basically takes care of all the parameters in the in the shelter. It understands when the battery is fully charged, whether the power is available, whether the power is good or not good, and then takes a decision whether to run the genset or whether to run the site on the batteries. Correct? Now that by that itself, the smart power switching, it saves overall about 40 percent uh, on this site. It, it was a huge reduction, and that's the reason why uh, this device became very popular in uh, telecom. And it for uh, ACME. So. Yeah, uh, competitive advantage is, uh, again, as I mentioned, optimal utilization of genset. Uh, saving in space. You know, the if you if you look at the earlier sites, if by any chance, if anybody had a look at the earlier sites, uh, we, we had a lot of wires and cables and, you know, a lot of multiple uh, systems lying into the shelter. Okay, by putting a PIU, a single rack system which has all the intelligent devices, your installation installation time became very less and you saved a lot of space which is very critical today. But with the sharing uh, uh, business model which is coming up now, this, this became very good because it's the smallest footprint available in the uh, industry. The other three, four points are like input uh, uh, isolation on the, uh, high and voltage exposure, uh, modularity, uh, so construction, and then etc. So these are more of Good to have system. Yeah. Again, uh, because it is a modern, because it is it, can, it is a smart device, it can communicate to our now. So we can actually intelligently by remotely look at the site and basically take uh, action and then set the parameters so that we can actually uh, optimize uh, the operations of the uh, site from from a remote place. Right. Fast tag installation, as I mentioned earlier, it used to take three days to commission a site. Now it takes only four to five hours to commission a site when you put a PIU in place. Just quickly talk about the green shelter. Yeah, running out of time, so maybe I'll just snap on this. Yeah. Green shelter, uh, again, when, when you look up, talk about the PIU, right? PIU itself is an intelligent device. But alone, uh, 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 intelligent device without uh, intelligent peripherals will not make sense. So that's the reason we had another thing. Like we had the batteries which were uh, connected to the PIU. We had the shelter itself. The shelter was a PU shelter which basically reduced reduce the overall exposure of the heat gain in the system. And uh, the entire concept of batteries, PIU, genset, along with the PCM, which is the, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, thermal storage device, okay? It helped help to overall consume, uh, what do you call, minimize the energy usage in the tower. And that's why it, it, was, it was termed as green shelter. So I think this, are, this, are, this is the total two concepts of like PIU and the green shelter, which was introduced. And it made a significant impact on energy consumption in this industry. Questions? It's PIU. How old is the technology in terms of uh, It's about six years. It's one of the, one of our first products. So why are you presenting as an innovative product? I mean, is there a specific reason? Have you done something? Okay, PIU is not a, a, a pro product which is static as of, as of date because there are too many, too many uh, power, uh, alternative power opportunities coming, uh, alternative power opportunities coming into the site. So basically, this PIU earlier was uh, only uh, replacing an AMF and server stabilizer. Now it has become more intelligent. It can take care of your solar, your uh, fuel cells. It can take care of your uh, uh, DC uh, generators. And this device has taken up a new phase. It's called as IPMS, but for the for the entry purpose, we have put it as PIU. I'm sure it must be evolving over a period of time. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Exactly. It, is. it must be version three, four, five. Yeah, exactly. Now every time, IP so every yeah. time there is a steps up, we, yeah. we have some savings done yeah. on that. So what is the new thing here? Sorry. What are the new things you have in the recent maybe last one year? As, as I mentioned, like there are two, there are three major things which has come in now. Number one is basically your uh, ten, uh, your remote monitoring capabilities. Earlier we didn't have a remote monitoring capability. Now we can have the entire, uh, uh, what you call, the parameters of the shelters, basically uh, in the shelter, can be seen into or now, right? And we can remotely monitor, configure, and upgrade the system from there. That is number one. Number two, now the alternative sources like uh, fuel cell, solar, and DCDG is also configurable here. So you put up any alternative energy uh, in the site, you can directly configure this and basically people don't have to go back to the site to reconfigure the entire uh, power supply system in the site. Is it unique as compared to communication? Yes, it is. What is the unique? 
No, nobody has this remote monitoring as of now. So you are the first one. To yeah, we are the first one. And that has given actually rise to the knock that we have, all our, our a lack of uh, sites where we have these PAUs installed. Yeah, we can monitor the entire thing, every parameter of that in our knock. So what will be the business impact for an operator or your customer? Two things. So, uh, Number one is basically if you look at the energy consumption, we have the best food print of the carbon uh, based on uh, the kilowatt rating which are available. That's number one. So we are the high, highest energy efficient. Number two, uh, the advantage of integrating the entire system into one, uh, the, as I mentioned, the installation and the commissioning time reduces from three days to one day, uh, like three to four hours. That's the biggest uh, uh, this thing. And plus we are actually, um, we also have alternative sources, modules ready for us. That means tomorrow if you want to put a DG, uh, DC DG, in the system, you can just go and plug it and then we can configure it for you. Tomorrow if you put a solar panel onto the tower, you can just bring the solar power panel 52 or 52 or odd uh, volt the connection and put into the system, we can configure it for you. So that is the advantage which you have. How many PIUs are you have in the field? It must be more than 75,000 PIUs in the field. In India? In India. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the presentation. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to meet you offline. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the next presentation is on mobile analytics. And it's in the category of mobile enterprise solution. And I would like to invite uh, Connectiva.